There's a point where money just becomes number on screen Grand Cardon said that you need at least 20 million dollars today to be considered rich. Mark Zuckerberg said there is no reason for one reason to have billions of dollars have leaving number side. You'll see that bigger your goal is. Hello and welcome back to OnlyPay. We'll be discussing about what it takes to be trillionaire. Be sure to watch all the way to the end. If you are new to the channel then hit the subscribe button below from our life changing content. John D. Rockefeller is often cited as being the world's first billionaire he acquired that status largely due to his ownership in Standard Oil which controlled 90 of all the oil in the US. And an interesting story here, the Supreme Court decided to dismantle his company due to violation of antitrust laws. In other words, he was just too big for any to be able to complete with him and this his company was broken down into 34 different entities. But these entities end up double or triple their values over the years of making Rockefeller the world's first billionaire if you take more broad. Look, the world first billionaire shaped how entity industries worked. He fine-tuned the process of turning oil into fuel, which shaped modern America. He also owned the railroads to transport the oil, which made the cost and logistic a lot smoother. His direct input on how everything in the entity, entire country is done made him the richest person in the world at the time. Today, there are 2,666 document billionaires in the world, but very few of them have same world-changing impact. As the first billionaire had actually very few of them do, if you had to split them into two groups, you would be get technology and luxury. So. In our quest to find out what a trillionaires look like, let's start the beginning. It's not just the idea. Ideas alone are worth nothing. Everybody's got ideas like what said before, an idea is worth a million dollars after it's made a million dollars. You'll be inclined to say it's ex exclusions, that's, that's true but only on a micro scale. We are talking trillionaires. Here let's say you built a functioning technology that transforms stone into gold at the press of button. Will the technology make you a trillionaire? Imagine going campaign in the mountains and becoming back covered in gold. Literally every stone you touch turned to gold. You are basically King Midas. Now, for now you would have to transform all the stones on a planet into gold. Will you be physically travel across the planet and find all the stones you you will pay someone to send you all of the stones? What's your game plan here? Second, secondly, but the point gold will lose so much of its value. Gold is valuable because there is a little of it and it takes a while to find an exact it mold if it is replaced stone with gold. Stone will eventually become more valuable and thirdly and aren't exactly helping anyone. You are not creating more value for people or solving their problems. You are just making something nobody asked you to. People are in search of billion dollars idea something so rid ridiculous and world changing that nobody's ever thought of it before. But the problem is. It is not the idea, let's say you build the technology that transforms garbage waste into drinkable water by magic, it still won't make you rich unless you are able to transform all of the garbage waste of the earth. Which brings us a scalability, when somebody looks to acquire a company that don't look what you are done, so far they look whether or not you can do it again and global scale what's stopping you to distribution logistic if the answer is clear and they can offer a solution deal is made the biggest oversight a young entrepreneur makes when trying to grow a company is scalability you did something and it works you can do it again at a global scale if you think about it tesla didn't go big because they made one functioning electric car they found a way to make them at scale within a budget and people Actually, when to use them, almost 2 million Tesla cars have been sold so far. Scalability in the main reasons. The companies don't grow, they, they can't make more of what they're making. Well, without affecting the quality of or the end product, without losing money. And eventually, 
Going out of business knowing how to make something at scale is one of those skills you won't find often mentioned in the business books. But it is the key ingredients to grow every industry and every business has different ways to scale. For some it's obvious but those others not. So much how can you make food at scale without affecting the environment and everyone around in your ability to make something at scale dictates how big you will get and in order to make that happen you need to solve logistics. We made a video about overpopulations which we really like and we suggest you to check it out after this one in it. We noted that one of the problems the world is facing is not too many people but not equal, unequal distributions. There is a great quote that says the future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed and this is an extremely complex problem to solve. And so far nobody's managed to do it perfectly. If you take a look everyone who's tired and tackled distributions at scale got extremely rich in the top 10 richest people. Google is mentioned twice. You can google something anywhere in the world. That's the global distribution of information. Bezos tackled the logistic of online shopping hate on him. All you want you still expect to find everything on Amazon and have it delivered to your doorstep the next morning you buy drones instantly. You know if possible Elon Musk tackles the logistic of electric energy from cars to batteries and houses SpaceX tackles to the logistic of reusing stock rockets more than one times Starlink tackles the logistic of global wireless internet how to get good and services from A to B reliably the instantly is major issue get it right you get rich get it wrong you are in big trouble remember the evergreen board that got stuck in the Suez canal sources estimate that little ingredient was costing 6.7 million dollars every minute in global trade value but none of this matter of if you don't get the next thing right people need to care about your product it goes without saying that the world's first trillionaire will make something everyone cares about if people couldn't care less what you have to say or what you are offering you had hard work it won't matter you might even find that what people find useful is not the same thing you wanted to build in the first place and here comes another problem since there are so many problem on earth not everyone cares about the same thing until we all do let's take climate change for example not everyone cares about it right now but give it a couple more to, uh, tornadoes heat waves hurricanes and wildfire and you know opinions might start to change so To make a summary of what we just talk about we really believe that first trillionaire will be someone who finds a problem almost everybody in the world cares about to builds a viable solution that people agree on using three builds a system which produces the solution at a global scale and for distribute that solution to everyone on the planet many people believe that Elon Musk is on the path to become the world's first trillionaire a study conducted by Tribality approved showed that Elon Musk's wealth saw a 129 average annual increase since 2017 and if he keeps on going it will be, he'll become the first trillionaire in the next 2 years he does seems to take off most of the boxes we don't know who the world's first trillionaire would be or even if someone should be a trillionaire it doesn't even matter really the point of this video is the way someone will become a trillionaire is the same way you become a millionaire build a solution a problem people care about figure out a way to make it scale and then distribute it to as many people as you can the reason we kept the trademark the purchase future billionaire is because at the end of the day if you find way out bringing value to the world the world will make you rich someone who has this kind of mindset is a future billionaire and who knows maybe even a trillion if you enjoy this video don't forget to hit like and subscribe and be sure to turn on bell notification so you don't miss any video just like this one
If you enjoy this video, please give us your thought in the comment below and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.